Hey guys, welcome back to Bronze's Math Club. Today's topic is adding and subtracting mixed numbers with unlike denominators. Now I know that this is a very long title, but well, all it means is that today we'll be learning how to add and subtract mixed numbers, which means it's a whole number and a proper fraction combined with unlike denominators. And unlike denominators are just denominators that are not the same. And remember that whenever you're adding or subtracting fractions or mixed numbers, your denominator is always going to stay the same, okay? But in this case, when, we, when we're dealing with unlike denominators, first you have to find a common denominator and then you have to keep that common denominator in your answer. So let's get started. Now today we'll be using these five simple steps and step one is convert into an improper fraction. Step two is find common denominator by using the LCM method. Step three is add or subtract the numerators. Only the numerators, the denominator stays the same. And step four is reduce your improper fraction. And then step five is convert back into a mixed number. So these are the five steps that we'll be using today. So let's get started. Now today, the same, the same rules apply for both addition and subtraction, so I'm not going to be doing addition and subtraction together, but I'm just going to be doing an addition problem just to show you how it works, because remember, it's the same st five steps for both addition and subtraction, okay? So today I'm just going to be doing an addition problem. So I'm going to be having two mixed numbers, such as 5 and a half plus 3 and one fifth, okay? So this these are my two mixed numbers, so that they are three and a half plus three and one fifth. Now remember step one is convert into improper fractions. And how do we convert a mixed number into an improper fraction? Well, all we do is simply multiply the whole number by the denominator and then add the product into the numerator. So five times two is 10, plus one is 11, and 11 is gonna become my new numerator for my improper fraction, and my denominator stays the same, which is two. And now I bring down the addition sign, do the same thing. So 3 times 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16. Keep the same denominator of 5. So now I have my two improper fractions, 11 over 2 plus 16 over 5. So step 1 is done. Step 2, find common denominator. How do you find a common denominator? Well, all you have to do is use simple LCM method, which is the least common multiple method. And you do that by taking your two denominators. So in this case, we have 2 and 5. And actually, let me make this a little bigger so it's a little bit more visible. So 2 and 5. Now we're going to list a few multiples for each of these until we have a match. So 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 5 is 10. So I'm going I'm to stop like around 10, okay? So 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10. Now as you can see, 10 and 10 are a match. And these are, this is the first pair of common multiples that we have found. So therefore, it is our least common multiple or our LCM. So LCM equals 10. So that means the LCM of 2 and 5 is 10. And remember, the LCM is your common denominator. So that means your common denominator is going to be 10. So we're going to rewrite these fractions with the denominator of 10. So now we need to see what times 2 gave us 10 and what times 5 gave us 10. We know that we can do that by dividing. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. So 2 times 5 gave us 10. And 10 divided by 5 is 2. So 5 times 2 gave us 10. And now all we have to do is do the same thing for the numerator. So 11 times 5 is 55. 16 times 2 is 32. And we get our two improper fractions with the same um, denominators or common denominators, which are 55 over 10 plus 32 over 10. Step three is add or subtract the numerator. So it goes the same for addition and subtraction. So now in this case, we're doing addition. So all you have to do is add the numerators and the denominator stays the same. So over 10. Now 55 plus 32. We know that 5 plus 2 is 7 and 5 plus 3 is 8. And we get a, a sum of 87. So we're going to write 87. Now we have our... Um, sum for 5 and a half plus 3 and 1 fifths, which is 87 over 10. But remember, you still need to convert this back into a mixed number. But before we do that, step 4 says reduce your improper fraction. However, in this case, we have 87 over 10. In 87 over 10, there is no number that both of these numbers are divisible by. So step 4 can be skipped, okay? And step 4 is actually if it can do it, okay? So it's not going to be all the time, but in this situation, we can do it. In some situations, we can, okay? But whenever you can, just make sure you reduce it. But in this case, we can, so we'll move on to step number five, which is convert back into mixed number. We do that by dividing numerator by the denominator. So if we go ahead and divide 87 by 10, 
We know that 10 goes with 80, 87 8 times, and we get a remainder of 7, so write R7 up on the quotient. Now, in order to write this as a mixed number, we will write your quotient, which is 8, is going to become your whole number. Your remainder, which is 7, is going to become your numerator, and your denominator of 10 is going to become your... I'm sorry, your divisor of 10 is going to become your denominator, and 10 also stays the same because you have the same denominator, okay? That means 5 and a half plus 3 and 1 fifths equals 8 and 7 tenths. And all it took us was 5 simple steps, and keep this in mind, this is the same steps for both addition and subtraction. So in this case, if we had subtraction, then we would have done the same steps except for step number 3 would have been subtract. But in this case, we added. So it's the same thing. Now, I hope you guys understood this topic. And if you want to find extra practice problems, then please feel free to visit our website at bronesitsnathclub.com. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.